Hey y'all, thanks for checking out Euclid Mining. So today I got an email about Flex Savings Tomorrow and it has nothing to do with savings. It is when my electricity rate goes through the roof. Now, you may wonder why is it going through the roof? Well, I'm gonna to explain to you some options that you may have with your electric company that might save you a little money for mining. For me, it saved me quite a bit. I'm gonna show you, let's hop over. This is the email that I got. Uh, that's going to be going into um, effect tomorrow for a short period of time. It's called the Flex Savings Option Alert. And this means that my electricity rate is going to be going up to 35 cents per kilowatt hour. Now, I know that sounds crazy. And you think, why the hell would you want to sign up for this? Well, I'm going to show you why. So let's just say you're kind of a set it and forget it kind of person. You just want to get your electricity turned on. You want to get mining or whatever it might be and just turn it on let's get going this is what you would pay you'd pay about 9.5 kil cents per kilowatt hour uh, for your electricity real simple real easy you know when we look at a lot of these mining calculators they're set at around 10 cents as default so at nine and a half cents you know that's not bad seeing as 10 cents is kind of the national average even though i think rates have gone up and the national average is probably a lot higher uh, nine and a half cents isn't half bad so uh, you're doing pretty good and you can just forget it and walk away from that point me i was looking to save a little bit more money i was looking for some more options and i stumbled upon an option that i thought might be really good to use so i'm going to take that one here and we're going to show that one so critical peak is 35 cents per kilowatt hour and i'm going to have that tomorrow for just a little bit of the day but i'm going to explain that a little bit better as we go along then otherwise the three typical electricity rates that i get is 19 and almost a half cent per kilowatt hour eight and a half cent a kilowatt hour which is pretty good and 6.1 cent kilowatt hour which is really good so i really like those now when do all of these take effect and how do they work well here it is down here it looks confusing um it's a little bit on the left or the right which side is it this is may to september october to april um, i broke it down and i made a calculator for this and i'm going to explain to you how it works so this is it here now 20 times a year i get hit with critical uh peak uh charges and that means that i get hit for 35 cent per kilowatt hour during that time now that happens for 20 times throughout the year and during those times i have to be really careful now when do those times occur well if it's in the summer it happens during these purple these uh, pink areas in here and if it's in the winter it happens in these pink areas here now as you can see typically i'm charged on peak for that uh, period here and here but for those 20 times a year during that period it reverts instead of being on peak it goes to critical peak and that's those 20 times so tomorrow for instance we're in the winter so from 6 a.m to 9 a.m typically we're very frugal when it comes to using the dryer or running the dishwasher in the morning uh, or anything like that um, because of that uh, higher electricity rate that's typically 19 cents per kilowatt hour tomorrow it's going to be 35 cents so i really am not going to be running anything i'm going to have like a helmet with a light on it and you know i'm going to be super careful tomorrow now i know that may seem a little extreme obviously i'm not gonna uh, my wife would laugh at me most of the day anyway if i tried that but because it only happens 20 times a year it really isn't that often we're talking about one and a half times per month um and that's not that bad to just be like all right honey hey tomorrow morning be real careful now typically we don't run things in the morning that use a lot of electricity because we know in the winter time our electricity rate is going to be higher from 6 a.m to 9 a.m so like this morning i went downstairs and the dryer was on um, i said honey what do you got in there she's like oh i'm just you had some of your shirts i was just taking the wrinkles out well i turned it off and i said hey you know not in the morning she was like oh right 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 no big deal and she's she tolerates it you know i mean look we're not we're not going to live um, like crazy people, uh, you know, in a, in a van down by the river and, you know, not run electricity and be crazy all the time. But certainly we don't need to run the dryer uh, to get some wrinkles out of the shirt at 7 a.m. Uh, I could do that at any point. So uh, we just got to be a little careful during those times. 
In the summertime, it's in the evening. Now, I can only assume that it's this way because typically when you go to work in the morning, it's cooler in the mornings. You're probably not running your AC as much while you're gone during the day. The AC probably goes up a little bit, so it's not cooling your house as much. But when you get home around five, six o'clock, you're gonna crank that AC on because now you're home and it's hot late in the day in the summer, 90 degrees outside, you're gonna to wanna to hit that AC on. And you maybe you're gonna start some wash. Maybe you're gonna be using the stove or the oven to cook dinner. Uh, these are all the things, the factors that I believe why they have it in here is because more so it's probably the air conditioning usage and they can hit you for a higher rate. In the winter time, it's in the morning. And I can only assume that's because it's the coldest part of the day and people that have like electric heaters or however you heat your house, you're cranking it on a little bit higher because you're waking up in the morning and you know, you're, you're hitting the stove, cooking some breakfast, you're turning the heat on to warm it up because it's freezing cold from all night long. Um, you know, maybe you had the heat on during the night, but in the morning you really want a little more toasty. Uh, you're using a little bit more electricity. Now I have gas and electric, so I only use the blower to really blow the hot air. So I really don't worry about that as much. We, we don't use much electricity for our heating system, uh, but still it does cost us 19 and almost a half cent per kilowatt hour. So in the mornings, in the winter time, we're just a little bit more careful. I do have the heat blowing strong. Um, the heat's on all night long, but the last hour, the 5 a.m. to 6 a.m., I have the heat go up, so it warms it up downstairs, and then at 6 a.m. it shuts off, and that heat will carry through the morning so that, you know, while my son's getting ready for school or whatever we're doing downstairs, we're nice and toasty and everything's cool in the gang, and I don't have to really worry about it. Um, but that's how I run my electricity. Yeah, it's a little bit more involved, but you know, it's on a thermostat and you set it and you're done. So I only have to do that once and it's all set up. Uh, and that's only on the weekdays that I have to worry about this. Uh, so during the weekdays, I have the on peak at 19 and a half cents right in here. I have the off peak that's in the yellow. And then I have the discount energy at 6.1 cents per kilowatt hour, which you cannot beat. So if we come down here and we look at say um, a weekday, so I've got three hours in here, uh, I've got 14 hours in the yellow, and I've got seven hours um, in the green. So this is what my daily use would be if I'm running say my rig and I'm using, I don't know, we'll do 1200 watts, um, oops. So if I'm running a 1200 watt rig, I'm running at about 265 a day. That's taking all of these numbers in and calculating it all out. Of course, I'm gonna have this uh, electricity calculator as a link down below or any of the other websites I use. Of course, you may not have Duke Energy where you live, but I'll put links for all of these things. Uh, if you wanna use the calculator, download it. Um, you know, change your rates in here if you want. And then you can, um, this is all really just for visual, all of this in here. It's only these numbers on top that change. Uh, this is just for a visual aspect, but if you want to use this, you know, feel free to. So I put my numbers in here and if I'm doing this, it looks like I'm going to be using all the electricity that I use throughout the day. 26% of it is going to be used right in this area. So a quarter of the day's total electricity uh, cost is going to come from just these three hours right here. That's why I get rid of it. If I run at that point, I'm paying 9.2 cents per kilowatt hour if I average that out throughout the day. All right, that's still not that bad. But if I remove those three hours and I don't mind then, and in here, um, we did, uh, well, we'll just leave it like this for now. You could see that I drop down. If I turn my miners off here and I mine the rest of the day, I will enjoy 6.7 cents per kilowatt hour. And friends, that is not a bad number. That to me sounds just fine. Now on the weekends, I do run the entire day and I don't have to worry about the critical um, or the on peak, I should say. And, but that means I need to add three more hours in here. So we'll make this one 17. And now if I, during, I'm running during the uh, weekday, uh, weekends, it costs me 7.8 cents per kilowatt hour, still under eight cents per kilowatt hour. Can't complain about that either. Um, so on the weekends, I pretty much just let my miners just run all weekend, 
during the weekdays. I do have to turn them off for three hours, but that's okay because I wake up in the morning to get my son ready for school. I shut him down at 6 a.m. I take him to school. I come back. I start doing some stuff. I'm getting ready for work, and then I kick him back on, and then I leave for work. So it kind of works out for me in my situation. It may be a little bit more involved for you. I have been looking into getting a timer, one of those industrial timers. I'm just going to put it down in crazy town for my miners so they can be turned on and off during that three-hour period and not have to worry about doing that myself. I would love to have that set up for my GPU rigs. I don't think Hive offers an option where things can be turned on and off like that. Uh, I wish I could. So I am looking into something for that. Um, but we will see um, how this plays out. But nonetheless, right now it works for me where I could shut that off. Um, and I do get a pretty good electricity rate. So for me, this option works great. Um, I am saving a ton of money. You can see here that my electricity rate is super cheap. Uh, I'm paying $2.26 a day to run a 1200 watt system. Uh, I really can't complain about that at all. Um, in the summer, it is a little different. I don't have these two extra hours in here for the, um, for the discounted energy. Uh, I don't know why necessarily they put that in the winter, but I do get that extra in the winter. So the winter months are definitely a lot nicer for me. Uh, if we look at the summer and we say did the uh, 1200 watts, uh, we can see that, you know, um, here, because I do have just those three hours, it is 25% still. Uh, down here it was 26%, but here it is still 25% of my total uh, cost for electricity for the day. So it is a lot to do it in there. If I did get rid of those three hours, I would be down to seven cents per kilowatt hour during the day. Um, and here uh, it is, um, let's see, do I have my, uh, that's the weekdays, so that would be 14. So you can see 6.9 and 6.7. Uh, and that's because I have these extra hours in right here for that discounted rate. And that's what brings this electricity rate down a little bit more. So uh, I am lucky to have that extra in the winter. It is a little bit more profitable for me in the winter time, barely like that, but still overall, um, seven cents can't, can't beat that. If uh, I did this for the summer, on the weekends in here where I have a total of uh, 19 hours in the um, uh, off peak and then on the discounted I would be paying uh, eight cents per kilowatt hour so eight cents not going to complain about that during the summer months um, the other option that I had over here you can see would have been nine and a half cents so eight cents I'll take it so weekends are totally open for me for mining as a matter of fact on Fridays at 9 a.m. I pretty much can turn on and leave it on until Monday morning at 6 a.m. so that's really nice uh, basically have three days of just straight mining with no interruptions or me not having to do anything the other days of the week though I do need to turn on and off and that's an option you're gonna have to decide for yourself so anyway that's what I did for mine. I don't know if that helps you uh, decide what electricity rates may be better for you, but it may be worth looking into with your electricity company. You got to figure out what's best for your pocket or pocketbook. For me and my situation, this kind of works out for me. In the summertime, um, these hours aren't the greatest all the time for me. Uh, sometimes I don't get home until about seven o'clock. So I miss about an hour and God forbid it was a critical peak day that day and I forgot to shut down for whatever reason. I really would be sorry, um, but I typically always am shut down on critical peak days uh, for just those three hours um, because it would be catastrophic. So anyway, check out your electricity rates. You may find that there's a hidden gem out there. Maybe there is, maybe there isn't. Maybe you're happy with just the set it and forget it option. It certainly does work well at nine and a half cents. I am still beating the national average, but if I could drop down to 6.7 cents um, per kilowatt hour, like today, today's a Wednesday, and I'm at 6.7 uh, kilowatt um, uh, cents per kilowatt hour, uh, I'm not going to complain mining at less than seven cents. So anyway, appreciate y'all checking in. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, you know where the button is. It's right over there. If you want to watch any of my other videos, I'm going to have one right up over there. Appreciate y'all checking in. Hope it helped. If it did, throw me a thumbs up. I'll see y'all next time.